Hi, I'm Dennis Graub with Solaro Energy. Today we're going to show you how to install the Solaro Day Night and Day Light Kit or the AC Connection Kit. This Solaro Day Night and Day Light Kit gives you the opportunity to use the Solaro Day throughout the day, at night, or in cloudy weather conditions. You have full control of the system when the system is on or off. You may select between two power sources, the sun or the grid. When operating the Solaro Day from the solar panel, obviously the sun is free making it the world's most energy efficient natural lighting fixture. When used on AC power at night or on cloudy days, the Solaro Day uses a minimal amount of power, typically between 10 to 25 watts, depending on the model that you choose. The Solaro Day Night and Day Light Kit includes a plug-in AC transformer, an AC control module, a remodel box, and 25 foot of 18 gauge interconnect cable. And if you're retrofitting a Solaro Day that has an SP driver, your kit will also include a CC driver. Make sure you let our sales staff know your needs when you're placing your orders. First step of the installation is to mount the solar panel. In this mock-up, the solar panel has already been installed. You can also watch the Solaro Day Powered Indoor Lighting Solar Panel Install Part 1 video to view the installation of the solar panel in more detail. Okay, now we're going to uh, do the installation of the actual Solaro Day fixture. When you lift up the actual um, light engine, there's a, a plug right down here. You push in on this little uh, lever and slightly pull out the uh, plug. Route the wires to the center hole. There, there's um, two wires coming from the driver. There's this special clips that we use. Pull back the orange tab allow um, this, the uh, wire to be placed into this hole and place your wire into the hole like this and then lock the tab down. And so we're going to take this plug that we pulled out earlier and we're going to plug that back into the, the hole. It only goes in one way, so plug that back in until it snaps. Take the lens, put the lens in like I'm showing you here. Now you've installed the fixture. It's that easy. As you can see here in this mock-up, we've got a box mounted on this stud. The wire from the output of the solar panel comes down through the wall, through the into the box, and we've marked it with a tag that says solar panel for display purposes so that uh, I can show you better how this uh, connection system works. The next wire that we want to run is the wire fr uh, from the central wiring location to the Solaro Day lighting fixture. So if you follow me up here, the wire comes up through the stud over to the light fixture here. The next step is we need to run a wire from the same central location down to this location down here. Follow me down here, and what you'll see down here is a box I found on the wall. That's so that we can transfer the power from the plug-in transformer that's going to be mounted in here um, up into the central wiring box. This is a Decora style switch, and this switch has been designed so that we can uh, switch between the solar panel and the grid power, as well as it allows you to turn the solar array off at night when you don't want to use it and we're going to connect all of the negative wires together at this location. So we've got the negative wires connected. We'll start off with the first wire here. This is a positive to the solar panel. And then we'll go to the middle terminal and that's marked positive DC output. We're going to go to the grid power. We're going to connect that wire. And last wire is positive output to the fixture. So we've made all these connections. We'll go ahead and tuck these nice and neat into the box and then we'll make the connection down below uh, to the transformer.
This is a very special transformer. It's an Energy Star transformer, and it will uh, turn off when it's not being used, so it won't use any power um, when it's not in use. We only need the wire to go from here up to here. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and cut the wire. All right, I cut the wire. I'm going to go ahead and strip it open. Be sure and route the wires from the output of the power supply through the hole first, and then make the connections. You want to pay particular attention to this uh, wire right here, because you need to get the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. If you look at the dashed wires on this wire right here, the dashed wires indicate positive. So make sure that you strip them apart, you take the dashed wire, and you connect it to the positive wire here. Now we're going to plug in the plug in transformer, tuck the balance of the wire in the hole, and let's go up above and try the system out. Okay, let's recap what we've just done. We've installed the solar panel on the roof. The wiring from the solar panel comes down into the junction box. We've installed our uh, grid power connection down below. One that run the wire into this junction box, into this junction box. We've installed the Solaridae fixture. The wire runs from the Solaridae fixture into this junction box. And now let's try the system out. The bottom switch is the main master on-off control. So we'll turn the system on. And uh, now the switch is on the left. That means it's operating on grid power. If you flip the switch to the right, it's now operating on solar power. This is free natural light anytime you'd like to have it during the day. At nighttime when the sun goes down, flip the switch to the left and you have the world's most energy efficient lighting fixture that's operating, as I said earlier, between 10 to 25 watts depending on the size of the unit that you have. I hope this video has been helpful so you can understand how the Solar Day system works. Thank you very much for watching.